Hey guys, Brett here, and today I want to talk about some of the strategies that you can use to get the most out of your ClickBack Rewards software. So there are two basic functions that ClickBack Rewards are designed to accomplish. First, it's designed to help with list building, and second, it's designed to help with traffic generation. Now, the list building aspect is pretty obvious. When people sign up for the contest, they're signing up with their name and their email address, so this builds a list of leads that are interested in your niche because you are going to be giving away a product that is related to the niche that you're in. However, the traffic generation aspect can be a little bit confusing, and I want to clarify it right now. One of the first questions that you have to ask yourself is how are you going to use ClickBack Rewards to generate traffic? You have two basic options. You can use ClickBack Rewards to send traffic to the contest itself in order to get more signups and build a bigger list. Or you could use ClickBack Rewards to send traffic to some other URL. And this other URL could be anything you want. It could be a CPA offer, it could be a sales page, it could be an affiliate link, it could be anything else that you want to get traffic to. So the first question that you ask yourself then is, do I want to send traffic to the contest so I can get more opt-ins, so that way I can build a bigger list, or do I want to send traffic to some other URL so I can try to get sales to a product, so I can try to get clicks to an affiliate link, so that I can try to get affiliate sales or CPA sales? This is the key question that you have to ask yourself before you even get started creating your contest. Where do you want to send the traffic to? Because the thing that I want to point out is that you can use ClickBack Rewards to send traffic anywhere you want. When people sign up to the contest, they are then told that they can get extra chances to win if they share a link. But that link that they share doesn't necessarily have to be a link to your contest. It could be any other link that you want. It could be an affiliate link or a CPA offer. It could be anything you like. So you have to ask yourself, what am I trying to do? Am I trying to get as many people into my contest as possible? Or am I trying to use the people that enter my contest to send traffic to a specific URL? When you're setting up your contest, in step one, you'll notice an area here where you can enter your target URL. This is the URL that you want people to share to get extra chances to win. And the thing to remember is that the action of sharing isn't what gets people the extra chances. It's the traffic that they send you. So let's just say that I enter somebody's contest and I share a link on Facebook. Well, I don't get a chance to win automatically just by sharing because that would be too easy for people to abuse. They could simply share, delete it, share, delete it, and keep getting extra chances over and over again. What gets people the extra chance to win is when they share and then somebody clicks on their share. When they actually send traffic to your target URL, then they get the extra chances to win. They get one extra chance to win per user that they send to your target URL. And as I said, this target URL can be anything you want. So if I have, say, a CPA offer that I would like to get traffic to, I could enter that in my target URL here. Then when people sign up for my contest, they are going to be rewarded for sharing my CPA offer link or my affiliate offer link if I want to send traffic to an affiliate offer. So what I end up with is having a whole bunch of people sending traffic for me by posting on social networks, by giving backlinks, etc. Now, if my goal is to get as many people to enter the contest as possible because I want to collect names and emails, then what I would do is leave this blank when I set up the contest. After I save the contest, I go over here and click the Save button. I can click this Embed button, select Give Me a Text Link, copy this link, Go back to the contest settings by editing it and simply enter that as my target URL. Now when people share to get extra chances to win, they will actually be sharing a link to my contest. In this way, they'll be sending traffic to my contest, which will give me more chances to, to collect emails as more people want to enter the contest to win. 
Okay, so the second question we have to ask ourselves is what prize should we give for our contest? Now, the idea of clickback rewards is very similar to crowdsourcing, where we have multiple people competing to be the one person that wins. And again, at, the way they win is by sending the most traffic to your target URL. However, we do have to give them an incentive to do this for us. And the way we do that is by giving a prize to the winner of the contest. Now, I want to point out that we can have multiple winners if we choose. Clickback Rewards will allow us to select multiple winners if we like. But the thing to keep in mind is that the prize must be a quality prize. If it's a junkie prize or something that's low quality, people aren't going to be really compelled to go out of their way to be sharing the contest and driving traffic for you. It has to be a quality prize that's going to really make people want to get it. Final thing when selecting your prize is it must be niche related. And this is especially true if you're looking to build a list with your contest. You have to have a niche related prize. Because if you have a general prize, you're going to attract people to opt into your contest that are not related to your niche. And these are going to be people that you won't really want on your list anyway. For example, let's just say you're in the weight loss and health niche and you're running a contest that gives away a free laptop. Well, everybody's going to be interested in a free laptop, even people that are not interested in weight loss and health. So what will happen is you'll get people in your contest that will never be interested in your affiliate promos and your follow-up promos. So you want to give a niche related prize so that way you build up a list that was related to your niche and interested in your niche. So that way you can monetize that list later. Okay, so the final question is going to be how do you start getting people to sign up for your contest? Well, if you have an email list already, one of the most obvious things to do is going to be to email your list. And this is especially good if you're trying to use the contest to send traffic to an affiliate link or a CPA offer, because then you can actually use your email list to do all your traffic generation for you. But if you don't have an email list, there still are some other really good things that you can do. To get started, the very first thing you should do is click on this embed button. When you click on the embed button, you're going to be given a couple of options. You can get a text link, which you can post to your blog or your website. You can also get a button that you can post to your blog or your website. So that way you can get the random visitors that come to your site or blog to click on the button and then opt into your contest. One of the more powerful features, though, is going to be the social share networks. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the share on social network button, and it's going to give me several options. I can use the Facebook, the Twitter, the G+, the Dig, the LinkedIn, the StumbleUpon, and the Reddit to get social backlinks to my contest. Of all of these options, the two most powerful are going to be Facebook and Google+. So let me actually show you the Google Plus one first. I'm going to go ahead and click on the share on Google Plus. And this is going to take me over to my G Plus account where I'm going to be able to share the contest on my Google Plus account. Now it's going to also ask me for a comment. And when you enter your comment, you want to enter keyword related text inside the comment. For example, I'm in the IM niche and I'm giving away an IM software as a, a prize for the people that win my contest. So I'm actually going to use the words internet marketing, make money online, things like that in the text that I'm posting when I share on Google+. And the reason you do this is because Google Plus posts rank higher than other websites. Google gives prominence to G Plus posts. So even though you may not be able to get a website to rank high for these keywords, you'll be able to get your G Plus account and your G Plus share to rank high for these keywords. That will give you a good opportunity to get free search engine traffic to your contest. As I said, Facebook is also a really good network to use as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Facebook link. And this will take me over to where I can share my contest on Facebook. And when I'm sharing on Facebook, I have a couple of options. I can share on my own timeline or a friend's timeline. But the more important options is I can share on a fan page that I manage. So I can offer my contest to my fan page fans. 
or I can share in a group. And the group share is really powerful because now I can share in niche related Facebook groups and get free people to enter my contest. Also, that something that's unique with using the Facebook share is that the contest will actually play inside of the Facebook timeline. So people don't necessarily have to click a link and leave Facebook and go over to your contest. They could actually sign up for your contest and opt into your contest right inside of the timeline or the news feed when you share on Facebook. Okay, so to finish up this video, let's do a quick summary of the things that we've learned and the three steps to get started building your contest. So first, you want to decide on what your primary goal is. Is it list building or sending traffic to a target URL? Now, obviously, you can do both when you run a contest, no matter what your primary goal is, but you should have one primary goal because your primary goal is going to help you decide what your target URL should be. If your primary goal is list building and building up a niche related list, then your target URL should be the contest itself. You want people to spread the contest for you. If your primary goal is to get traffic to a blog or a website or a CPA offer or an affiliate link, then that should be your target URL because you want to reward people for sending traffic to those links for you. The second step is going to be to pick a quality niche related prize to give away to the winner of your contest. And again, the winner of the contest is going to be the person who sends the most clicks. Now, to be honest, that is a little bit misleading. I shouldn't say the winner of the contest will be the person who sends the most clicks. I should say the person who sends the most clicks will have the greatest chance of winning the contest. The software will allow anybody to win, but it will give people who send more clicks greater weight and let them have a greater chance of being picked as the random winner. The third step is to use the social share options to spread your contest and to start getting people to sign up for it initially. Pay particular attention to Google Plus and Facebook. And the reason we choose these two networks in particular is because shares on Google Plus tend to rank higher in Google search engines. And because of this, you'll be able to rank for keywords that you normally wouldn't be able to rank for with a regular website. And because Facebook will allow people to actually sign up and enter your contest right inside of the timeline or newsfeed.